million. The, the member for Bass is seeking the call. The member for Bass. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the minister representing the Minister for Employment, Skills, Small and Family Business. Will the minister please update the House on what the government is doing to help protect small and family businesses from the actions of militant unions? The Minister for Employment, Skills, Small and Family Business has the call. Thanks, the Mr. Speaker. The member for and can Wakefield. I thank the member for Bass for her question. Member for I know Wakefield will leave she's under 94 a very eight. keen supporter yeah, yeah, you, of yeah. small business <laughs> in particular um, when it comes no, to just, the just, family just the minister farm, can pause. very big. I'm not, I'm not going to debate issues on 94A with any member, particularly the member for Wakefield. If he doesn't know by now, if he interjects, the member for Wakefield will resume his seat. I've made this very clear. This is about the dignity of the House. The member for Wakefield knows by now, if he interjects, and I ask him to cease interjecting, if he interjects immediately, I'm going to ask him to remove himself from the House. And I'm not going to have him back chat the chair when I'm representing the House. I'm now naming the member for Wakefield. Naming the member for Wakefield. I move that the member be suspended for the remainder of today's proceedings. From service of the House, I move that the member be removed from service of the House. I move that the member be suspended from the service of the House. The qu question is that the member for Wakefield be suspended from the service of the House. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. Division required. I'll ring the bells for four minutes. The Leader of the Opposition on a point of order. Mr Speaker, to assist the House, perhaps the Leader of the House could get advice about the motion that he moved because it referred to a seat that does not exist if he does a prop, just so we don't waste a lot of time on a procedure. Well, that's my fault, so um, it's the member for Spence. Yeah, no. Yeah, it was the member for Spence, so we can stop, stop ringing the bells for a second and, and I'll just do it again. I name the member for Spence. <laughs> the Leader of the House. The Spence be removed from the proceedings. Be suspended from the House. Yeah. Members on my left. Yes, well, it is a contingency that I wasn't quite planning for, I'd have to say. I move that the member for Spence be suspended from the service of the House. The question is the member for Spence be removed from the service of the House. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
Lock the doors. Order. The question is the member for Spence be suspended from the service of the House for 24 hours. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Gray and Nichols tell us for the ayes, and the honourable members for Werriwa and Lawler tell us for the noes. Order. The result of the division is eyes 80, noes 66. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. Yeah, and the member for Spence is suspended from the service of the House for 24 hours. And the Minister in continuation. Thanks, Mr Speaker. And as I was saying, there are 10,341 small businesses in the electorate of Bass 
Of these, the biggest industries are construction, agriculture, which the member for Bass knows extremely well, forestry and fishing. And when it comes to small business, the Morrison government wants to back small business. We're cutting taxes for small business. We're removing red tape for small business. And we're opening up new trade opportunities for small business. And the other thing we're also doing is we are protecting them from union militancy, despite Labor fighting us every step of the way. Look, look at our record. We established the Australian Building and Construction Commission, a tough cop on the beat to ensure the rule of the law applies on Australian building sites. This is in stark contrast to the Labor Party and their extensive history of backing the CFMEU and their law-breaking activity. Labor wants us to return to chaos by abolishing the ABCC. We set up the Registered Organisations Commission to ensure that employee and employer organisations do the right thing by their members. We passed the Corruption Benefits Legislation, again opposed by Labor, which banned dodgy payments between registered organisation representatives and those who were bar they were bargaining with. We abolished the Road Safety Remuneration Tribunal, which saved 35,000 small businesses, 35,000 small businesses opposed from those opposite. And let's not forget, those small businesses employ 7 million, 7 million hard-working Australians. We're on their time. We're on, their, we're on their side. But the question is, the question is, what is the position of the leader of the opposition? How does, how does the Leader of the Opposition explain supporting the expulsion of Mr Secker from the Labor Party, but does not support legislation that would, if Mr Secker continued his unlawful behaviour, see him being expelled from his position as a union official? Member that is McEwen. the question that this question time needs an answer to. And it would be very good if the Leader of the Opposition went outside and answered that question. That is the question you need to answer.